Good morning, Cyber Warriors. I'm going to go over a few things within PowerShell today, uh, specifically how to identify what paths and drives that you can use to include the registry. Speaking of the registry, we're going to talk about a couple of key keys that you want to take a look at to include some things that you want to specifically change to your organization's requirements or just simply to make more secure. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to talk about the PS drive, set location, get item, and set item property. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. All right. So let's go ahead and start talking about a few things that we're going to want to do. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the different drives that PowerShell can actually navigate through, which includes the registry information and how to do it. Uh, also, we're going to go in and take a look at a couple of key registry entries that uh, you should always be looking at and potentially setting uh, every time you operate within a system or making sure it complies with your company's uh, organizational requirements. All right, so let's dive straight into it. So we're going to go in and we're going to get PS Drive. And this is going to provide us information about all of the potential drives you can actually change directory into. Uh, and you can use the shortcut command, which is CD, but I'm actually going to tick to you and we're going to do programmatically set location. Actually, we're going to do that with dash location. There we go. And we're going to tell it the path. And the path is H K K L M colon. So this is just like going into the C drive, or the D drive, or any other drives you can navigate to. Is the drive number or letter? In this case, is H K L M. Uh, and then the colon slash. We've got software. Notice autocomplete works. If you're not autocompleting, there's something wrong. So double check your spelling. Microsoft. We want Windows. And then current version. All right. So I'm going to hit the enter, and you'll see that it changed the path name to that entire path, which is exactly what we want to see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at two key registry entries, and we're going to get the item for them. And the first one is run. Now, looking in this, you see that run has security health, which is your information. It checks to make sure that your antivirus is running, your firewall rules are set appropriately. It's that little annoying shield down in the bottom corner of your, your drive that uh, lets you know that something is off. Uh, or, you know, also everything is good to go in green. Uh, VBox tray. VBox tray is for VirtualBox. I'm running a v Oracle VirtualBox machine on this, so that is absolutely appropriate. Uh, and if you remember from a previous video, we've got tight VNC for the TVN control. Uh, we know that that is not authorized software on this system and probably should be taken care of. This is showing that it's actually in the run. So every time you start up the system, this will start up as well. So even if you turn it off and you successfully kill it, as soon as you reboot, unless you've removed it, it will come right on back. That's part of persistence for you. The other one that we want to take a look at, and we're going to hit the up arrow for it, and that is the run once. This is generally used for installing new software where it says, oh, you know, we've installed it. We want you to reboot. Well, that reboot usually puts the finishing pieces inside the run once uh, registry key, but some malware and some nefarious actors out there like to use the run once key as a way to hide their persistence. So every time that it comes up, one of the things is it sets itself right back into here so that every time you restart it, it will show up. And they're not showing up in the run so that when you look at run and run alone, you're going to miss it. So make sure you check for both the run once 
and run keys when you go into these things. Now we're going to change directory over into the win logon because what we're going to do is we're going to disable the auto uh, admin logon functionality, right? We're going to require every user use a password in order to get onto the system. Okay, so we're going to do that and we're going to navigate just like we would within the system. So do you know what this command is doing? Right here, right here, we've got cd dot dot slash dot dot slash. This is going to change the directory two levels. Right currently, we're in HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version. So I'm gonna go back two levels. And now you see that we are going down to Microsoft. The reason why is because we need to go into a different folder here. So we're gonna CD and we're going to do Windows NT, all right? And then we're going to go into the current version. And win logon. There it is, win logon. So now what we need to do is take a look at the value of the information that's here within WinLogo. We do that by getting item for WinLogon. It may not work in this directory. Ah, that's because I'm in the directory, so it doesn't work there. So let's back out one level. So let's do that command again completely different results. So where you are uh, is kind of important for some of the things you're going to be doing within the registry. And as always, be very careful about what you do in the registry. And I'm actually at this point going to show you how to make changes to the registry by setting the item properties. Okay, so a couple of things that we're going to look at is the legal notice caption, the legal notice text, and then also the auto admin logon. We're gonna tackle this one first. So I'm gonna copy that because I'm gonna need it. So we're going to set the item property and we need to tell it which item property, property we're going to change. And this is the name. It's the auto admin logon, logon, sorry. And then we're going to give it a new value. And that value is going to be a zero. So talk about this really quickly. So zero. Oops. I didn't like any of that. So let's kill out of that. And we're going to, there's the path. Let's scroll this up so we can see it. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, set item property, path, HKLM, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, win logon. Uh, that is correct. Name, auto admin, logon, value is zero. This should work. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this property here. And we'll see that the auto admin logon is set to zero. If it was set to one, that means that they're able to log on to the system automatically. So let's actually take a look and see what that is. We're going to change it back to one and I'm going to start net PL whiz all right you see how net PL whiz here has the users must enter a name and password to use this computer it's unchecked that's because this value is set to one right now and I'll show you that it's set to one 
Here we go. It is a one. So if we go back and we change this from a one to a zero, and then open up NetPLWiz again, you'll see that it is now checked. We can bring this prop these properties back up again and take a look. And yes, it's there. So you have to remember binary code. So a zero means off or disabled. One means on or enabled in this case. So what we're going to do is we've changed it over to a zero. We turned off that capability. It's now set to force the admin account, Riley, uh, to actually use a password to get onto the system, which is exactly what we want to have. This is something we want to set every time. So another thing we want to change in here is the legal notice caption. All right, so we're going to take advantage of the code that we already wrote, and we're going to change this portion here so legal notice caption. We're going to change the value because right now there's nothing. If you look up legal notice caption, there's nothing in these areas here, right? Nothing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this. This is the caption, which is the title of the banner. And that we're going to just call warning. Simple. And the next one we're going to make a change to is text, legal notice text. We're going to change this from warning to only authorized users of inside out corporation. can log into this computer or else face the wrath of Big Bong. Generally, your organization will have its own particular banner with text that it wants to use to include any formatting characters. Uh, and you will be able to use this in script, but at for the purposes of this test uh, and um, Cyber Patriot, pretty much anything can go in here. I try to make it fit the general theme of the thing. Uh, the Department of Defense has a very specific banner about how uh, monitoring is affected by who's on that system uh, and the fact that monitoring occurs. Um, so this is just something to fill in the text for that. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. We're going to bring up those properties again for when log on. And we'll see that there's now information here. Don't worry about the formatting and the strange like wrapping that it does. That's a side effect of how we're viewing the information. Uh, it's not going to dramatically affect the way that the banner actually reads. Uh, there are some shenanigans when Banner does have some wrapping stuff. There are special characters you can use. However, all of that is generally unimportant until you really, really need to have that sort of thing. Uh, I may cover that in another video in the future. Maybe not. Probably not. It's just honestly not that important. Alrighty then, Cyber Warriors. We've gone through a number of things. We talked about the PS drive. We talked about location, uh, specifically going into the uh, HK uh, LM uh, software into the Windows current version to identify run and run once, both very important registry keys. Uh, we went into the, uh, the the Windows NT current version, Win Logon, to change. Uh, the properties for the legal uh, text to provide that banner pop-up and we also disabled this is a key one disabled the auto admin logon um, I hope that you learned something for this for, uh, from this video today and um, as always happy hunting and I'll see you in the next video